Hello there, everybody. It's the Dankasaur here. Man, it's it's early in the morning for me. As you can see by the little time down here, it's 8.22 a.m. on November 13th. The very day that I'm going to upload this video. Because that's what I do. Now, the reason why this tutorial is a little bit later and why I didn't really record it beforehand is because I've been working on a different tutorial. But it's like... It's kind of complicated, and I'm working with it to give it more features and more functionality, stuff like that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a real banging tutorial. But until then, I was like, you know what? Let's just do something simple, something easy. So I decided we're gonna go with the gamepad tutorial, kind of some things, just you know, basic thing on how to use some gamepads and stuff like that with your games, which is awesome. People like gamepad compatibility with a game, especially if it's really good. So let's get right into it. So first off. Let's just make ourselves a little sprite. We're going to make it a SPR underscore player. Let's not, I don't want to go too crazy with the sprites. Basically, what I think we're just going to do is we get a little dark outline here. We're going to make just a little smiley face guy. And what we can then do is give ourselves, give him like yellow, you know, boink. And then we can take black. And then we can just give him like a, like a stupid little face like yeah yeah look at that uh, let's fill in all these little like holes yay smiley face guy right all right nothing too complicated then i think we just need some some walls so spr block i like to call it block and do whatever let's like i don't want to do anything too complicated let's just get like a little dark blue let's just make it like that let's make it let's make it a little bit interesting give it a little bordery type deal and then let's see let's make this blue on the inside and then let's make this like hmm I don't know let's make it like a lighter blue like that I don't really know what that's what this is gonna look like but you know whatever let's do that side let's get our blue back again and let's see let's make it a little bit darker grab our lines let's actually cover that one up and go like that. Yeah, cool. Nice little block thing. All right. <clears throat> so those are all the sprites I think we need. Now, if we go ahead and we make our object block, I'm just trying to get a little bit of things set up before we go too crazy. Block, solid, done. Then let's make our object player. Object player. Oh, actually, we're going to make this pretty cool. Let's go like this. Let's make this, let's go back to our guy. Let's make this white. Like white, is that is that white? That looks super gray. Why does that look super gray? It's white. Opacity, blend, replace. Weird. All right. <laughs> um, and then let's make this just a little bit gray. Like that. And then like, except we need, probably want it a little bit darker. Let's make it darker. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so let's not worry about our object player for now. Let's just get it like that and put in our guy. And then we're going to make this object um, controller. So this will just be the thing. Basically, what's going to happen is that's going to add in players based off of like what game pads we have selected, just so we can kind of go like this. So this is going to be nowhere, no sprite or anything like that. So let's make a room. This is a good room size. Let's call it RM level, except with out of spaces. And we're just gonna go in here, put some blocks in here. Whoa, put some block, put some, put some, mm, put some block, put some blocks in here. There we go. And just let's just. I don't want to make it too complicated. Just some blocks keep our player in bounds, and then we just want to add in object controller. All right, all right. Now. Let's get stuff started. So me, the kind of gamepad I am using, I actually found a picture of it. It, it is an Xbox One wired controller by Power A. As you can see, you can get it from Target <laughs> and like Walmart and GameStop. It's a pretty, it's like, it's like 25 bucks. It's pretty cheap, but it's really good. I really like the feel of it and everything like that. It's a really nice controller. I really like it. So this is what I am using. Although you can use PlayStation 4 controllers as well if you connect it with a wire or if you have like Bluetooth enabled. I'm not 
entirely sure if Bluetooth does like Xbox One controllers. I don't know if like they can connect that way. I'm not an expert on the subject, even though I probably should be. Um, I know that wire controllers work every time, so if you can find one like that. And they do connect with Bluetooth, so if you have some sort of Bluetooth device, or if you're like motherboard, or you have some sort of Bluetooth chip inside your computer, then you can do it. But as for me, this is what I am using to get this to work. And this works, this controller works, I know for sure. Uh, but you can find some good ones, just like Walmart, GameStop, like I said, Target. I think I saw one for uh, like Toys R Us or whatever. So you can find them pretty cheap. There's even cheaper ones around. I just like to make sure it has a wire because I'm a fan of wire controllers. I don't like wireless at all. Even though they work just fine. I just prefer not having to do batteries or like dealing with any sort of connection or disconnection or sy syncing up the things. It's just easy. Just plug it in. Everything works. And usually they're cheaper, so that's kind of nice. So, first off, we want to add a create event. So first off, I'm going to make the, an array of variables, all right? So this is a quick way to make it an array of empty like numbers. So we're going to say 4i equals 0, i is less than, and we want this to have 11 inputs, so we're going to put 12 in there. And then we're going to go i++, plus plus, all right? Then we're going to say connected, and then we're going to put I in here, and we're going to say false. All right. Whoa. There we go. Basically, we're setting up this array so that as soon as we like plug in, uh, like as soon as we plug in like a gamepad, then it'll like it'll register and stuff like that. So also we want this to be players i equals like just zero. So this will keep track of all the player objects because we're gonna, we're gonna make player objects as we connect things to the uh, to the game. <laughs> and then F, and then so if we like disconnect control or something like that it'll also keep track of all the player objects so it'll, it can destroy them. Accordingly. Woo! My brain is slow. So, we're going to loop through. We're going to say another for loop. We're going to go i equals 0. i is less than 12, just like before. Because, and I'll explain this a little bit. These are like gamepad ports. Like, they're ports that it keeps track of in your computer. As far as which gamepads are connected. And they connect in a certain order. And it doesn't matter where you plug them in. So, no matter where I got this. Since I have one controller, this one controller will count as 0. Now the ports are delegated differently, so for different types of controllers. Basically, ports 0 through 3 are delegated for DirectX, so Xbox controllers, right? Um, so that's like if you just want if you just want it to be Xbox controller compatible, then you all you want to look through is ports 0 through 3. But then the other, and it's weird, like the other like well, what is that? 4 through 11? Those are for... And I forget what that one's called. But for PlayStation. PlayStation 4 controllers. And I believe those are the only ones that work with Game Maker. At least in Game Maker Studio 1.4. So, so this was a thing that like in one of my games that had gamepad support. I was only checking ports one, 0 through 3 because I thought that's all there were. And so someone wanted to connect a PlayStation 4 controller. I'm like, okay, that should work. And so we tried it out, and like nothing was happening. It was connected, and it was fine. Like the, you know, it was connected to the computer and everything, but it didn't go. And that's why. So we're gonna expand these ports all the way to 11 just to make sure that, like, we can do any side of sort of gamepad. So now we're gonna check our variable. So if connected, no, we're gonna say gamepad is connected. This is the function that you use to find a gamepad device. We're just gonna put an I, and we don't want that there. So it's just going to loop through all the ports and say, well, if there this that's what this function does is that if there's a gamepad in that port, then it'll return true. Otherwise, it'll be false. Then we're going to say if connected, and these are our variables, i is equal to false. As in, if we haven't connected this whoa controller yet, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to go with instance create. 
and then we're going to do a random place in the room. So we're going to say I random range and we're going to do it 30. Well, we're going to make it a little bit. We're going to make all that like 50 and then room width minus 50. So there's a bit of a margin. The Y is going to be I random range. Uh, let's move this and expand this. All right. And we're going to go 50. Uh, that's 60. 50 room height minus 50. And our object is object player. Then, uh, something's wrong we need in the parentheses. I always forget that with the with statements. So we're going to set a variable inside there that says gamepad equals zero, right? Just so, or not, not zero, actually. We want this to be i because it'll be whatever gamepad we have, right? Gamepad equals i. Then, um, so that way the, con the player will know where to look for its gamepad to know where its controls are coming from. So gamepad equals i. Um, let me think what else it needs. I think that's pretty much it. And then what, what we're going to do is we're going to say color because we're going to make color RGB. And we're going to go I random between 255. I random 255. I random 255. Boom, boom. Like that. So basically, we're just going to give it a random color. So that way, not all of them look exactly the same. We might get some ugly colors this way, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that should be everything like that. But then um, we're going to also destroy like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. We also need other point. And what variable did we call this? Players? Oh, no, there it goes. Let's bring that back. I'm like getting the hiccups now. It's the worst time to get hiccups. Other point players, I. And we want this to be other point I because that's the only way we're going to get it. Equals ID. One second. I got like these hiccups like I mentioned. Got like breathe or something. Try and get rid of them. All right, I think maybe that'll work. I don't know. So basically, then we're gonna set the that object's ID to this array, so that way we can keep track of all the players as well, the player objects. Then we can say else, right? If the gamepad is not connected, right? Then we can say if connected i equals true. Basically, if we connect a gamepad, it'll set this to true, right? Oh. Yeah, we need to actually set it to true. See, um, so first we're going to say connected i equals true right there. All right, that's much better. <laughs> Woo! All right. So then it'll set to true. We create a player, blah, 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 right? But then if a gamepad is not connected, right? And, but it was at some point, as it was like split second ago, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to say with players i right so with that object that it was that was there um we're also going to first say connected i equals false then we're going to say with players i and we're going to say instance destroy as in we're going to get rid of our player object because there's no longer gamepad to control it and then we're going to say um players i equals um, zero just kind of reset everything so that should be everything there as far as gamepad connection goes so let's go to our player object first off we need to go to our draw event and we need to go draw sprite x e x t actually no we don't have to do this at all um, we can just go draw self in fact if we're just gonna do that we don't need anything like that I'm being weird don't just don't just oh man Okay, so we're going to step event and we're going to go image blend equals color. All right. All right. So this will like blend whatever color that is set to us to like our sprite. It'll kind of blend it with us. That's what that function does. So we can say color equals 
zero. Gamepad, I don't know if we want to set that because we're not, well, we do. Gamepad just equals zero. These are just initializing the variables. Um, and let's go to our controller object and just check really quick. Is there anything else we need? Gamepad and color are the only things that those get. So that's all we need there. All right. Now, I need to open up another project to do some collision stuff, but that's okay. In the meantime, we can do some other stuff. So first off, we can say if gamepad is connected, it's always a pretty good idea to do just a little check right here just to say, like if it's connected, you know, otherwise don't do anything, right? Um, let's see if this is up. So let's actually go to, ooh, laser tutorial. Yeah, we want that one. Basically, I'm, I'm just pulling up like a collision system. So we can put that in really quickly. Um, but this is how we're gonna do it, is that we're also gonna make these other variables. We're gonna call it V speed equals zero, and we're gonna call it H speed equals zero. And then we're gonna call max speed equals and let's say let's say five we're gonna make our guy pretty quick let's go to room level and make our room speed 60 really quick just to make sure it's all good but now we can actually before we get into doing any sort of controls or anything like that we can leave this as it is um let's actually just start our game and see if we get uh an object created all right because i have my gamepad connected already so as soon as the game starts up, we should get a character created. And then I'll go ahead and unplug my gamepad just to make sure that's all working. Hopefully there's no like crashes or bugs or anything like that. So we should be like we should be in pretty good shape. The compile finished. And we have no game. That's always good. Why is that? Why is that indeed? Um Like why? You know, I didn't say game end anywhere. We should have this player. Um, this is, isn't doing anything, so we can comment it out just for fun. <laughs> That's in the step event, and that should be fine. Okay. All right. Uh, let's try it again, <laughs> I guess. There we go. Okay. Um, player I not set gamepad equals I not set before reading. Oh, that's easy. We just go to controller, step event, and we just need other point I right there to fix that problem. Okay. All right. Let's give that a shot again. Let's give that another try. That was weird. I was just like, didn't show up. Maybe like it came up somewhere else. And I didn't see it. All right. So there we go. Uh, well, I've got my gamepad connected. It made a guy. It made him purple, right? Oh, it put in another guy. That's that's weird. Okay. Um, let's. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my gamepad and see what happens. So they both disappeared. So I guess it like reconnected a guy. So if I plug in my gamepad again. We get two guys. It's weird. Why are we getting two guys? You know what I mean? Interesting. Well, we'll see. We'll see what that does. Because I only got the one controller plugged in. Players equals zero. False. Stuff like that. So maybe it's just doing something weird. You know. If connected equals false. If gamepad. I'll see it's true. Players. It's just destroy. Like, let's see why this is doing this. Um... If gamepad connected equals false. Connected equals true with that I. Just making sure everything's like getting set correctly because if something can be going weird, then that could cause like two players to be created at the same time. You know? Um, the best thing I can say is just after this, just say exit just to make sure nothing weird is happening. Um, I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. And let's see. So now we have one guy. All right. And now we have one guy. Okay, good. So that fixed that problem. See, it's just weird things like that. And also, first, I want to go up here and I want to hit randomize because 
It's it's gonna like it's randomizing our color, yeah, but it's gonna randomize at the same time every time unless we do randomize. So now, now we got our player in here, we can do some stuff. So now we can boink boink go like this. So number one, we can say let's get our player moving left and right. So we can say hmm gamepad get axes is something like this let's let's look I know I'm supposed to be like teaching this but like we can just go gamepad um, access value here it is access value so this is like joysticks right <clears throat> so we can say device we want gamepad because that's our gamepad access index we want so our access is going to be GP for gamepad and then we want axis and we want our left left horizontal because we want to move left so that's what this is axis left horizontal so i want this to be h speed equals all right this value times max speed because what this is going to do is that this the gamepad axis value is going to get a number out of um, zero and one, depending on which way you're going it. So I believe if it if your gate if your joystick is all the way to the right, that's going to be a one. If it's in the middle, it's zero, and if it's to the left, it's negative one. I believe that's how it's going to be, and we're gonna so that way if we just times it by our max speed, it's going to move our player like left and right, and we can go ahead and we can just say h speed or x plus equals h speed right here just so we can get that um, but let's go ahead and test that out there's also another thing we need to do as well really quick but let's just get this going right so first we're gonna be able to make a player boink and then as you can see um, I'm not so I, I'm not touching the controller right now but you can see he's moving a little bit right but you can see that as I'm I've, even so I can move him like faster or slower depending on like which way like you know, if I'm holding like the joystick like halfway, you can see it's like going like that. So it's which it's pretty cool. So to stop our player from like moving, we're going to set a dead zone for the controller. Basically, it's like an area where it won't pick up any sort of um, we won't pick up anything. So basically, all we want to do here is going to our object controller. We're going to go step events. So when it makes a new controller, a gamepad, we're going to say gamepad set dead zone i believe this is the uh that's the f axis dead zone there we go so the device we're going to do i and the dead zone we don't want to make it very big because we still want to get some stuff like this so if we make it 0.1 that means it's going to create this range of 0.1 where nothing like if our game if our axis is within 0.1 like it won't actually register as anything so basically anything below 0.1 is just zero which is really nice so that it prevents it from like because some idle controllers when they're idle are like barely off a little bit and so it counts as like something so your player moves like a little bit creating an access that dead zone makes it so it eliminates that problem so then let's go into our player and our player and let's do the same thing so then we want v speed to equal whoa speed to equal gamepad axis value gamepad and then gp axis left for our left stick and vertical for getting our vertical axis and we're going to times it by max speed i don't know if this is going to work though because i think this may be reversed but if it is there's this easy fix for it there's a few actually but let's just do the same thing we're going to go y plus equals v speed everything like that so let's go ahead test this out and see what we can do so now if I move my joystick up yep he goes up and then like around so then as you see it when I'm not moving like nothing happens right you can hear me like oh not hit my microphone but you can hear me like move my joystick around right to like move my guy around I actually want him to be faster now right now he can go through blocks <laughs> but you know but luckily with the way it's set up we can just go in here I want to make him like fast just so we can like really zip around this place Cause this, is, this could be cool because if you can make a gamepad like game because I was thinking you can make it so you like random things like spawn yeah now our guy's quick 
and like so then we can like barely move our joystick and then like move it around and move them really fast right uh pretty cool stuff like that and whatnot so we kind of got our joystick stuff all set and all like that Woo! so let's make some collisions right now so this is where i need to pull up the other thing um just to make sure i'm on track with our laser tutorial so let's go ahead let me look at my player guy move player um it should be really easy so here we go so all this stuff is gonna be at the end so basically we'll have that and it's really easy because then we can just go if whoa I like to kind of space it out except not like that it whoa if place meeting and we're gonna say X oh that's for a different thing all right yeah X plus H speed and Y object block right then what we can do is that we say wow not place meeting and then we can say X plus sign H speed pink Y object object block and then we can say oh I always forget the last parenthesis on widths X plus equals sign h speed all right <clears throat> this is pretty simple oh and then we go h speed equals zero so this is pretty easy stuff is that like basically if our next step is going to result with how fast we're moving if it's going to result into a collision with the block basically what it's going to do is that sign is going to get one or negative one depending on if this is negative or positive the value that we put inside and basically it's just going to move us over one pixel at a time well kind of one pixel at, yeah one pixel at a time until we collide with the block and then it's going to set our hp to zero so that we won't move anymore so basically this will put us right up next to blocks to collide with them and it'll make it so that we don't like do anything weird with them and basically now we can do the exact same thing but with our y so we can go v speed instead object block and then we can say wow well 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 not place meeting x y plus sign v speed oh yeah because that's the other thing with the uh, the up and down axis is that up is negative one middle is zero down is regular one which is actually really helpful with whatnot and i forgot the other parentheses like usual plus equals sign v speed point and then we just do our v speed equals zero because then it sets it to zero so then at to make so that as soon as we move up to a block it'll set it to zero so then we won't add or subtract anything right there so kind of neat so there's a whole collision system right there and then we hit save right there and that should be everything like that so then we get in, we create a guy, pretty ugly looking guy, boink, and then as you can see, we can stop at the blocks and everything like that. So it's kind of cool. I'm like still holding the controller right, and then I'm just kind of moving it up and down, but I'm still holding right, and then we're going to move along and whatnot. So super neat. Now, one thing we're going to do is um, is make like a dash as we, when we press a so it's just so just to show some button presses so first off um we're gonna make an alarm so let's just do alarm zero put some code in here we just say end alarm and that's all we need all right so then we can say boink at the end here well boink if um oh let's put it here because if gamepad is connected right so then we can say if yeah if gamepad button pressed i think i believe that's what it is but nope i'm i'm wrong so let's just wait here for a second to let's have us show our options button check press see that's what it is um button check press so then we can say gamepad being our device that we've been assigned button index so it's going to be gp face one i believe it's going to be for a now to know which buttons are which we can actually just go to the internet here and then we can just google game maker gamepad controls i look it up a lot and we just will look up right here in the documentation 
we can see it gives us this nice little chart of what all the certain things are. Oh yeah, there's also like stick L that when you can press in the sticks and stuff like that. There's lots of cool stuff. So for right now, if we want our A button, which is right there, that's going to be GP face one and whatnot. But yeah, so lots of cool options and stuff for things you can do. You can check this out on your own. There's also a lot of like functions that you can just look at. Gamepad set color. What? So the PlayStation controller LEDs to red if the health variable. Oh, that's kind of fun. You can set <laughs> for PlayStation controls. You can set like it's LEDs. That's kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah. Anyways, so let's go back to this, and then we can say alarm zero equals like thirty. We're gonna make it a pretty quick dash. So then, what I think what we're gonna do. We're gonna we gotta keep that the same. Here though, we want to say if alarm zero equals negative one. So if we're not dashing, that's where we're gonna take our access controls. Um we're gonna say, and then we're gonna say h speed. I think we're gonna go times equals two. V speed times equals two. So what I what I think will happen is that oh, there's like a thing on my screen okay it'll set this alarm 0 to 30 when we press when we press the a button and then while that alarm is active it won't take our gamepad controls right however our h speed and stuff will be the same so only on the time when we hit it our like our h speed will like be good you know like it'll set it to whatever direction we're going and then it'll check for the button presses and then it will set the alarm times these both die two and then it will go through here and dash us right and then it will loop back through and say oh we're still dashing so don't take any new gamepad controls all right all right so this should work for like a dash let's try it let's see and of course also if you connect like multiple gamepads um all right, so I think one thing we need to do is at the end of the alarm, let's make H speed equal zero and V speed equal zero, just to just to say some stuff. All right, so let's do this dash, like with dash, but they see it was like, but see, there we go, we like go back to normal. So our dash goes on for a pretty long time. So I really want to make this an, effic an effective dash. This isn't really important to gamepad controls at all. But let's make our dash like 10. Not even that, like 5. And let's make it like times 5. Alright. Let's go back to this. Because I really want like these short kind of dashes and things like that. But that's, you know, everything for like gamepad controls. So it's like this dash. Woo! But as you can see, it still like does the collision control, the collision stuff like that. So you can dash like into a block and it still like goes. Okay, so that's that's fast. <laughs> that's a little too fast in my opinion. Uh, so, all right, and it still is going on for. I th well, I feel like it's just because it's really fast. So let's make this times three and see. But I am pressing like the A button and it's like making the dash and whatnot. Yeah, and if you connect multiple, you can. Uh, you know, you can have multiple guys on the screen. So there's like an dash. You can just like dash. That's a really good looking dash. Then we can go further and give it like a cooldown. So we're not like just dash, 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 right? We can also then, let's give it a cooldown. So then let's make another alarm. Make it alarm one. And we're going to say boop, 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 and alarm. This will be official end alarm, right? Let's go in here and we're going to say alarm one equals like 60. Except for, let's not put it here. Let's put it when we press it. So let's go to our step event, bink. And we're going to say when we press it, then we're all going to set our alarm 1 to 60. And then we're going to say, and alarm 1 is equal to negative 1. That way, if our alarm, like our cooldown is done, that way we can dash. So, it's, so yeah, but this is pretty much like it. You can also involve shooting, so you can put in the right axis and do like your right trigger to like shoot and stuff, and then you can like dash around. So, um, dash, dash. So as I'm like pressing, I'm like spamming a button right now, and so like we have like our dash and whatnot. 
So kind of fun stuff. You know, we could, and we could add like effects and stuff. Not super important things. I want to do that real quick though. Um, let's just make an object player dash, right? We'll give it this object player sprite. All this is going to do is when it's created, um, well, at every step, it's just image if image alpha is greater than zero image alpha minus equals like 0 0.02 and then and then we're say also when it gets like below zero then we're just say instance ends if I could if I can spell instance destroy and then we're gonna say image blend equals color this is pretty simple stuff right here and we're gonna give it its depth like 20 to make sure it's always below then object player we'll go step event right and then we're just gonna very first we're gonna say if alarm zero so for dashing is greater than or are we just not equal to negative one to make sure so far if we're dashing right now we're gonna so we're gonna say with instance create xy object player dash uh, I need the other parentheses like usual and then we're gonna go yeah and then we're gonna say color equals other point color pretty easy stuff right there all right that should be all that kind of stuff done so that should just be your basics on gamepad controls and everything like that kind of showing connecting them disconnecting them and whatnot so now we can see we have like a little right we'll have like a little dash that's quick we can make it like another sprite too hold on i just want to get this all figured out um i think i'm gonna make a fun little game out of this so um we'll go ahead and just do that but for right now let's go ahead and we'll make an sbr uh like dash um this will be pretty easy i'm just gonna make this like a simple little sprite um let's make it white though so it stays with the same color um and let's just give it like little dashy that this is dashy things these are dashy things right here all right <laughs> this is, uh, okay um and we'll center that yeah okay and then we'll set this the, the, the player dash and then uh so that's it for gamepad controls uh so that's all you wanted to do wanted to see that's that this should get you started on like game pack <laughs> that they don't um and then uh how am i gonna set it to um turn okay let's go here so if that's all you wanted, then thank you so much for watching. And please like, view, subscribe. If if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of this crap. As for me, I'm going to continue to fix this and make a fun little game. And whatnot. Really cool. I'm trying to try and go like super fast though. So we're gonna say point image angle equals point direction. And we're gonna say um, other point x, other point y. Or we could even just say x, y. Other point x plus. Or we don't have to be other. We can just x plus other point. Um, no. Plus length dir x. And we're going to say length is. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. This would be. This is easy. Other point h speed. Other point h speed h speed other point v speed there we go that's and we want this to be y plus y plus other point okay 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 all right that should be good that should be good all right okay here we go we got our little dashy guys those ones oh because it says it's a zero like the last one ah that's fine <laughs> We got a little, we got a little dashy thing. We have like a kind of a lame color this time around. Pew, pew, pew. You know, okay, okay, okay. So now, let's make this into like a real game, right? 
So let's do this. I'm gonna rename this. Um, connect. All right, and then I'm gonna make another guy that says object controller. All right, and let's go ahead and put our controller object in there as well. Boink, boink, just to ensure. All right, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be great. So then this is gonna be actually like a fun little game because then you can just connect multiple game pads and then just like, um, <laughs> like play with your friends and see who survives longest and whatnot. So let's go ahead and let's make SPR like laser. I like lasers. And so let's make this 3232. Let's go ahead and just make this, I think like red. Red's a good laser color because it's like, like death stuff. So if we go ahead, let's, that's the same exact color as the background. That's the downfall of using this background color <laughs> is that if you actually want to use that color, it's very difficult. Is that in the middle? It looks like it's in the middle. Let's make this a little bit wider. This, uh oh, oh, uh, there we go. Just like that. Yeah. And let's get red and like put it like that far. All right. Nice little laser. All right. Let's make this now like 200 and like put it like one layer of 200. Now let's do like 280. Now to set it to fit 150. 150. We're gonna have like a pretty quick gradient here. 100. That wasn't 100. 100. 100. There we go. And then I can see this little pixel right here, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, and then let's do 50. Boing. All right. So. That's a good looking laser. Uh, we actually don't want this in the middle. We want this to be like that. All right. So now we got these laser objects. So then if we go object laser, right? Um, and then we can just say, well, it's speed. And then we can just say um, outside room instance destroy um all right then we got this ob uh, let's go to our player and let's go collision with laser instance destroy all right all right and then we can also say oh because then what's cool is that we can just say on our object connect and then we can go like this and then we can actually say we can actually just say if game pad button check check oh my goodness check pressed and we're gonna say device i button index we're gonna go gp start um we're going to say game restart what what we could just actually we could just say room restart room restart there we go so then if any of those are just pressing start it'll restart the game so then we have this object controller. All right, we're gonna say, we're gonna make a variable called doom. We're gonna call it zero. All right. So as doom increases, things get crazy. So, and now we're going to say alarm zero equals the doom. Actually, we could just say, we can say 90. No, let's make it 180 for three seconds. All right. All right. Alarm zero. So we're going to say doom. No. <laughs> Alarm zero equals. And we're going to say. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we're going to say. We're gonna say I'm I'm, th I'm like thinking here, game mechanic wise. Let's do 420 minus Doom. All right. Then we're also gonna have our uh, alarm e zero equals to 60. Actually, but we're gonna make this 100, 240. Okay, 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 okay. Because then we're gonna make this uh, one, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go Doom plus plus. In our, in our, well, not equals plus plus, just plus plus. And in our notes, we're going to say, we're going to say, do, 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 more doom. More doom! Alarm one equals, uh, 
60 again. So every second, Doom is just going to go up, right? That doesn't make sense, though. Let's make it every two seconds. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it actually works out. So Doom. All right. Now, we're going to then say instance uh, we're gonna say with mm, 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 okay things need to change things need to change all right so we're gonna change our level we're gonna make it 768 768 we're going to because we want it to be like square so let's get rid of all these homeboys out here all right let's pop all these blocks in here let's make it so our player can't escape they can't escape and then let's see so that'll give us a nice doom doom okay so then we actually want to change this because we don't want this to be outside room so let's just delete this all together let's say if x is less than that's not less than less than minus like 100 or x is greater than room width plus 100 or y is less than negative 100 or y is greater than room height plus 100 right right so if we're outside of like these bounds then we're going to say there goes my gamepad instance just destroy destroy all right here we go um all right okay it's an object controller so let's all right, all right all right all right all right all right so let's see let's see let's go to a room level so we got 768 so what's half of that 768 divided by two all right 384 okay so now now here we go here we go here we go we're gonna go laser uh that's fine okay let's go controller all right here we go here we go here we go we're going to say with instance create and we're gonna say three what was it <laughs> crap um 368 so is it oh my goodness all right <laughs> 768 divided by 2 384 384 all right so we're gonna say 384 plus length dir oh let's make this angle equals i random range uh zero through 360 all right all right if it's gonna be zero we can just say i random 360 okay all right length dir at uh x and we're gonna say length so 384 so let's just say 400 that should be good right that'll only be 16 though let's make it 420 so that means our lasers okay our lasers will be like this okay good center that direction is angle all right y or no three no 384 plus length der y and we're gonna say 420 angle boink all right object laser parenthesis parenthesis all right let's go in here and we're going to say um direction equals point direction x y and then we're going to say 384 384 just to make sure it'll go towards the center right and then we're going to say speed equals um we're going to say yeah we're going to say we're going to say its speed is like five plus other point doom times 0 0.01 so they will get incrementally faster as doom increases. Doom! Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let's try this out. Let's let's try it. Let's see what we can do. And then we'll probably put like a timer. So we got our little guy, right? Oh, we got a laser. Except like it's facing weird. Um, all right. <laughs> oh oh there's a laser okay first off let's just go and set controller um things will get more doomy as like things as it progresses so then we're gonna say image angle equals direction direct there we go all right 
All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That was just a little bit of a goofy thing. So we got a little dash. <laughs> oh, let's not get lasered. <laughs> let's not get lasered right off the bat. All right. This is fine. This is good. It's easy. It starts off slow. Starts off real slow. All right. That was good. That was good. Easy. Easy. Oh, we got a laser. Okay. So these need to be, these to me need to be a little bit further out. Honestly, because that started really quick. So let's do a Pythagorean theorem. Right? Is that what? No, I don't know. Isn't it like, I don't know, Pythagorean theorem actually. So let's just make it so controller. Let's just increase this. So let's just make it like. Okay, we need to not load no we need to make that no we need to make the laser we need to make its bounds a little bit more so let's say 200 just to give us like all the room it's not really gonna matter um and let's do that and then object controller because i just want to make sure everything is like good so let's make this 500 500 just to make sure that everything spawns outside of the bounds all right okay all right so let's give this a try this is game balancing game like creation stuff like that boop 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 all right so we got a laser coming in and whatnot we're dashing all around there's another laser all right that one's looking good like the lasers don't seem to be too crazy right now all right, yep, late. Oh, I <laughs> ran right into it. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, I can just press the start button. I can just press the start button to restart the game. I don't have to actually restart it. All right, see if we, like, start it. Like, keep restarting the game. It like, okay. <laughs> so let's restart. Okay, so we got a laser. Fine. Good. We can dodge that. We can dodge that. Maybe we need to make my, the player a little slower. All right, boom. There's the laser. That's easy peasy, right? We need like a timer to like show how long we've lasted. But that's okay, that can come later. There's like a ton of time to react to these lasers. So Doom has gotta be like getting getting like way up there, right? I actually don't actually know. I want there to be like lasers like more than every like half a second. You know what I mean? What up oh, dang it! So okay, I'm gonna be bad at this. Let's make Let's make them, okay, so I want them to spawn more often, you know? 420 minus Doom, I think it's not enough. Let's make this, um, let's make this half as much. So, well, let's make this like 240 minus Doom. And let's just do Doom divided by two. That should give us a bit of a, more of a, more of a thing, more Doom, more Doom, okay. And then let's draw some stuff. Let's just draw some stuff. So draw, let's make our depth minus 100. Let's draw, draw. So draw, set, age line, FA center. I gotta eat breakfast and like go to work soon. Yikes. I don't want to though, I wanna program this game. FA center, draw, set, color, C white. All right, draw, text. Um, Okay, and then we're going to say, we're gonna say time equals zero. Um, step event time plus plus plus. All right, then we're going to say, um, we're going to make var seconds equals zero var min even minutes equals zero. All right, all right. So then this is what we do. We say, wow, time minus 60 is greater than 60 or equal to 60. Then we're going to say Oh, 
oh, and let's go var total equals time. So let's do total. Total minus 60 is greater than or equal to 60. Total minus equals 60. Seconds plus plus. All right, just like that. And then, but first we want to go while total is greater than or equal to what? So it's 60 times 60. 60 times 60 equals 3,600. So while it's greater than or equal to 3,600, 3,600, um, we're going to say total. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Total is greater than or equal to okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna say. Six three hundred, and then we're going to say minutes plus plus. All right, so we're, just, we're just getting some time. We're just getting a time here. All right, now room width divided by two. I'm gonna put this right in the center. We're going to say y. Uh, we're just gonna say sixteen, and we're gonna say string, and we're going to say minutes plus a little thing like this plus seconds. Now, but we need a bit of an if. We want if seconds is less than, no, is greater than nine. So if it's a double digit, then we want it to be like this. Then we want to say else, el else, draw the text. Draw, draw like that, draw it, there we go. Yep, do this. No, there. Minutes, and we'll put a zero right there. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's do. Let's try this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I think I want to put like a doom counter on there too. Uh, things went weird. Uh, oh yeah, I know why. That's that's a thing. All right. So we want the now because we're adding to it. We have to say string minutes plus string seconds. And then we want string minutes plus string seconds. All right. Okay. Fine with me. Fine. Fine. <sighs> All right. There we go. We got a nice timer. We got some lasers. We got a laser. Dodge that laser. Okay. I think movement speed. Okay. Hold on. I know we just got started and everything. Let's take our player and let's make our movement speed like six. Let's let's reduce that just so we're not so jerky, not so like because we have our dash now. So if we really need to dodge something, we can just dodge it. Just to make it so we're not accidentally running the lasers and stuff like that. Okay, so that's not very fast at all. I don't feel like that's laser dodge worthy. Maybe let's make let's do a middle ground. Let's do eight. All right, all right. This is a tutorial in game balance and whatever. I don't even know. Okay, that feels a lot better. Then we can dash and be like, dash. All right, so we can dodge that laser, easy peasy. All right, so we last said, okay, laser is coming more often. It's really good. So we can dodge that. All right, good. Dodge that, easy peasy. Dodge that, easy peasy. Right? That laser, wham, we dodged that. <laughs> Just like that. All right, another laser done so things aren't ramping up too quick but like I know that once they start ramping up it'll really be super hard so we don't want to be too like I don't think I want things to go too quick I want to do I do want to see I do want to draw doom somewhere though just to check just to see um, like if doom is really like doing stuff um, There is an option that we could do spawn multiple lasers at once and as doom increases it'll spawn like more lasers later on so let's get a timer let's get a show on doom all right no oh, geez and then we're gonna say draw text and we're gonna put it like way over to the side so if our thing is like 700 let's just do like 700 y 16 just like the other one string is going to be doom like that plus string doom just so we can keep an eye on that so now if we go here um let's just go to our this and we're going to say um repeat 
all right, for one plus doom div, and let's just say 10, all right. And then let's put this in parentheses like that. So that should do some stuff. All right. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. So we got a guy. We got a guy right there. There we go. So doom is equal to just nothing so far. Now doom is one. Now doom is two. So doom is going to be going up pretty fast. We got some lasers going here. That's pretty nice. All right. So we're just making one laser for now, but as soon as that doom hits 10, we're going to hit, um, we're gonna hit spawning two lasers, so 10. So we got two lasers, yep, that's gonna be, that's a thing, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 I can get into this. Okay, so I think we just need like multiple offset alarms that are like doing separate things, okay. But I can dig this, I can dig this, whoa. This can't be done with keyboard controls as well. You can implement that. Okay, so we got three lasers coming in. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it, I see it, I see it. So this can afford... Whoa! Be modified to, like, do all kinds of crazy stuff. But we got, like, doom increasing and things like that. And, like, lasers are going to spawn... Oh, so you can't, like, dash through them. Which is... That could be a nice feature, though. Um, yeah, we can say... If alarm... 0 is equal to negative 1 if we're not dashing. Instance destroy so we can dash through some stuff. This is fun though. This is good. I like this. I had some crazy music and then like whatnot. Wow, this is an hour long video. Luckily, it's, it won't take long to upload. Like the, my game maker tutorials don't like, they don't take very long to upload. Which is, which is weird. Even though like they're super long. I think it's just because there's not a lot like happening like in the videos on screen. So let's try it. So we can dash through the laser. Okay, so we're invulnerable when we go through the when we're dashing. But then we have like a yeah, we have like a cooldown time. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's just keep going. We can put like a line in like in between all the lasers and stuff like that. The room is just small, so it's like oh crap! Like where are the lasers gonna come from? You know, like you don't have a lot of time to react. And plus, they're gonna get faster as Doom progresses. So. That's also a thing as well, and then we're also going to get a bunch of them. Okay. Anyways, I will play with this later on. And whatnot. Um, and making it, like, better and stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll do this again. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, this video, and subscribe if you want to see more of this crap. Um, always remember to have a complete breakfast, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.